All right, guys. This is my latest addition to uh, to my uh, Kamikaze 2 collection. Um, I have uh, all of the original colorways plus uh, a few other color plus, plus uh, versions they released uh, last year that I really liked. But um, <laughs> definitely, I wanted to find those in my size, and I finally did. Uh, those are the team. Uh, Kamikaze 2's in first um, team Reebok red and white and the other one is team team dark green and white so I got off of the uh, these off of uh, Team Express uh, pretty much on half price maybe more than that I, I think I paid um, ninety dollars for both pairs, so I think it's a pretty good deal. Uh, considering when they originally originally released were a uh, hundred dollars each, so uh, definitely worth it. And let's have a look at those. Uh, let me look at the green pair first. Uh, normal Reebok Classic last year and before box and, and paper. And this is the pair in sight. So let me push that away. Put them right here, and let's talk about the pair real quick. So it's uh, it's the normal Reebok Kamikaze 2 mid um, version. I think this um, new book they used for those team pairs. It's it's very nice it's very soft um, it's kinda like something between the uh, short haired uh, and long haired so it definitely has this uh, very plush feel to it colors are really nice I mean this green uh, I definitely like a great uh, maybe a St. Patrick's Day shoe if you know some of you uh, are into St. Patrick's uh, holiday I'm pretty much into it along with my family. Uh, size 8 of course all my Reeboks are size 8 for some reason Reebok runs a uh, half size down than Nike's and Jordan's and some other brands and you know usually I might and a half but definitely with Reebok I'm size 8 inside all the inner liner plus the insole are all green with white logo only the interior of the ton is white um, of course the insoles are Ortolite as you can see from the tag so Ortolite is it's a really cool technology um, not only it's uh, very uh, anatomically correct and um, feels good with you, on your feet but definitely it's it's good for repelling uh, smell you know, odor, uh, moisture, and all that negatives that most of our sneaker heads have to fight for. As you can see on the back side, it says uh, wicks away moisture, long lasting cushion cushioning, odor and uh, fungus inhibiting, and airflow for a cool foot. All that is good. Uh, some additional Reebok uh, tag for uh, talking about the sweater and the, the suede and leather the sweater <laughs> no not the sweater the suede and leather uh, so yeah I mean you all know how coming out the two looks uh, nothing different other than you know having this nice and, and great looking uh, green new book yeah, uh, the normal setup hex light in the heel and forefoot same traction same cut and definitely some a pair that uh, I really like let me look wow the box fell in that's okay um, definitely craftsmanship is pretty good no problems whatsoever. 
yeah. Now oh, have the normal hexalite tag. Those originate all the way back from the 90s, early 90s maybe, 1989 or 1990. Actually, I have some of those original ones. Here it says 2011, and some of those that I have it says 91 or 90. So, yeah, definitely, um, definitely a pair that I really like. Okay, let's uh, open the other one. So this one is the red pair, and this is a bit too loud that I was expecting, but not a big deal. I definitely like it. Uh, same um, nice feel on the new book. Very soft, very plush. Same setup with the hexalite. Again, we have Ort light insoles. I mean, if any of you guys have shoes with Ort light insoles, uh, a lot of Reebok models have them. Uh, know exactly what I'm talking about, but Ortolite is very comfortable uh, on your feet and definitely helps a lot with the, you know, the smell of the other and uh, repelling the, some of the moisture that it's accumulating you know, while you wear or play in a pair of uh, sneakers. Uh, here again, insole is all red with uh, the white logo, uh, the vector, uh, white uh, ton. Red inner liner padding is pretty sufficient, uh, nothing too uh, different than uh, the original uh, retros that came out last year. Definitely, definitely a nice, nice little addition, especially for the price. I mean, ninety dollars for two pairs. Can't complain about that. That's for sure. We all know how much we pay for other brands, but I'm definitely liking what I'm seeing here. So I don't know why Reebok are putting those size stickers inside the insole, but I really don't like that. I usually take it out and stick it to the inside of the box because I will forget and they will stick to my sock and they'll leave a stain on the insole and all that and I'll get upset. So here they are guys, the green and the, the red pair, I think, uh, I think they all look pretty good, I mean it's a great addition to, to the collection, uh, soon I will show you the rest, but you know most of those you've already seen. That doesn't stop me. I'm sure there's still fans out there that like to see more sneaker videos like that. So here they are. So one more time, guys. Uh, thanks for all your support. Thanks for supporting the channel. Uh, for more sneaker reviews, news, history, articles, and everything that's sneaker related, uh, stay tuned to collectivekicks.com. And uh, until next time, you have a wonderful day.